What is up YouTube, it's your boy Mousetrap and we back in the building and I'm just here to let you guys know that the giveaway for the two Sundown subs, Terra Amps is active and is ready to be won by one of you guys. You can simply be purchasing, purchasing um, this decal. Um, there's a shirt with this same exact logo on the decal that can get you entries to go ahead and um, win these subs. You can purchase these items and get details on the giveaway by simply going on to my Instagram which is mousextrap or, or um, the official YouTube Instagram which is mousetrap underscore gang. Go on those uh, Instagrams and shoot us a DM and we'll give you all the details and if you want to get your entries in we'll go ahead and process all your orders. Get your um, uh, purchases that you've got to enter sent out to you guys um, immediately. So get your entries in. The giveaway ends May 2nd and I will be announcing the winner on Cinco de Mayo. All the information for the giveaway you can find it in the description of each video from here till the giveaway ends um, the information to purchase where to send money to who to contact everything is in the description of each video um, that's gonna be uploaded from here till the giveaway ends man get those entries in when you guys gonna be um, running around with these speakers inside your vehicles and it could be you by just simply purchasing a sticker or a t-shirt man um, now let's get back to the video and you know get your entries in man What is up YouTube man, we are back with another video and this video is for those those of you that actually been requesting it man, we are finally building another set of fiberglass door panels. We're going to wrap them in vinyl, we're going to put LEDs, we're going to put plexiglass in it, man this, these are these door panels are going to be show stoppers man, so for those of y'all that have been asking um, how to mount the door panels, what do I do after? I do this, you know, what happens if we do that, man, all your questions are going to be answered in these series of door panel videos. I think there's going to probably be like three, maybe four videos that have to do with this build. So let me explain to you real quick. So we have two front doors that we are going to be doing door panels for a 2019 Dodge Ram. Shout out to uh, Still Tippin. He is from a, a truck club called Lifestyle, I think, in... Uh, like central Florida um, and he reached out to me on Instagram and he was like hey man can we do some door panels you know I showed him a little bit of work you know give him a little bit of a price presented him a very professional manner of the pricing with a um, invoice and everything and he said let's do it and I'm like man let's get it on um, I was able to get him some product and then most important we're able to do these door panels for him big shout out to him shout out to his club I think you know his clubs are going to be pretty impressed with the door panels that he's going to do to show love for his club because you know the club, the truck uh, logo we're going to do a plexiglass with some LED lights on it. That's going to be pretty fancy for it, and, and I know they're all going to love it, man. So these are the door panels that you guys been wanting to see on the videos, and man, we're going to do it for you guys, man. So um, subscribe to the channel, leave comments, any questions, anything, um, man. This is the time. And to once do again, it. if you guys haven't been entered into that two 12 inch sundowns and the terra amp base series 1200 watt amp giveaway man get entered man we got you know a good amount of little entries already uh, get your entries in you can purchase a decal for ten dollars plus six dollars shipping and it will be sent to you you can order a uh, shirt for twenty five dollars that'll get you five entries and that's uh, ten dollars for shipping if you do the shirt and the decal together at the same time for thirty dollars get that gets you 10 entries man and the shipping as well as 10 bucks so get your entries in man get a a quick little chance to win some subs you could be jamming for as little as 30 bucks man you know five bucks so um get entered um we will be the giveaway ends may 2nd but we will be drawing for the winner on may 5th cinco de mayo you already know so i may actually even do like a little small get together with some trucks um you know some food because it is single the mile and you know us mexicans we like to get down man so that's our, our holiday so and this is the first here. video of a four-part series on these door panels so for today we're just going to concentrate on actually prepping the door and laying the fiberglass mat you know uh the prep is pretty much very important because it is the key to making sure we got a nice perfect mold so the doors fit perfect on there you know what i'm saying um it's very important that we prep it and you know we, when we lay our tape down um, and then we put our fiberglass mat that nothing shifts or do nothing and motorcycle because we don't want it to you know lose shape of what we're actually trying to achieve at the end of the day because what we're trying to achieve is once you you know after all said and done and the door is done we want that door to sit as 
perfect as possible. We're not perfect, but we can get there, man. You know what I'm saying? So um, prepping is the, the key. We got a few uh, items that we need to make sure our prepping is on point. And we're going to cover all that. Then we're going to cover um, laying the fiberglass mat down. And, you know, tomorrow's video, uh, we're going to get into how to shape it, the shape that we want it, setting the rings, and fleecing it. You know what I'm saying? If we can get away with resining tomorrow too, then we're going to go ahead and do it. I told the guy I can have the truck done by Tuesday, and we're going to accomplish that because, you know, we still, basically we have a week to build those door panels. You see what I'm saying? And we got product coming in. But for some reason, <clears throat> lately, Amazon has been so tripping. I actually do uh, order stuff from Amazon or I go to my spe speaker club uh, plug, depending how fast I need product. Um, I am not actually doing the actual installation on this truck till Monday. Um, so, you know, I can order a product, you know, smoothly. But pretty much it's almost the same price that I can get product on, you know, Amazon and go into the plug. I just have to take the drive to Tampa to go get it. But it's pretty much the same price because the plug does sell it a little bit more um, pricey because obviously they got to make their money because obviously, you know, everything's a little bit more cheaper in the store versus internet. But since, you know, man, the plug loves us, we give him a lot of business, we send him a lot of people, man, you know, he hooks it up because, you know, he knows that we do this for the channel, for you guys, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to the plug, Carlos at Livewire, man. We will be going down to see you if you're watching this video, man. Big shout out to you. Uh, I keep trying to tell you to, you know, open up that online store because, man, they have to pick up so much, but, you know. Where I'm gonna so let's get into like these door panels. Okay, so basically these are the door panels. They're off of a 2019 Dodge Ram. And I actually met up with the guy, got the door panels, and, you know, put the uh, markings on where um, I'm gonna need to stop and go and all that stuff. So these are the door panels right here. Uh, real quick, let me show you what we're gonna actually do. So basically the end result is gonna look something like this. We may actually do something like that. Who knows, we just still have to get it inside there and um, do the actual panel. But as you can see, it's going to be something like that. We got a plexiglass that's going right here. That's going to say its truck name. And then we got two tweeters that are going to go up here. That are going to look, you know, A1, A1. You see what I'm saying? Same thing for this door. We're going to do the same exact thing. We've got to build identical doors so they look perfect. So dude can go to all these truck shows and everything, man, throw the doors open on everybody and be jamming. Okay, for so for today's... Um, materials that we are going to have to use is we got Dawn soap because man that gets rid of a lot of the grease and everything from the, the textures of the door we got some green mixed with white alcohol and so that makes it like real like potent you feel me like real 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 strong then we have our surface surface prep you know the high tech this is the good stuff right here we got masking tape we got some rags and that's pretty much it. You assume that's all that we pretty much need. Okay, so these are the steps that we are actually going to take today. Number one, we're going to use the Dawn soap and we're going to give the area where we're going to put the door panels at a nice little wash. You know what I'm saying? Because we need to try to get as much of that grease as possible. Like, you know, I can see it. You know what I'm saying? There is like little grease, you know, when people put armor all and stuff like that on it. You know, it's in there and since it has textures, you see the textures? Man, it gets in, even though you don't see it, it gets inside those grooves. And we got to try to get um, as much of that off as possible. Like, you know, here I see a lot of, you know, dirt and everything. So we got to get that out. So we got to clean that up. And then, number two, after we get that done, we are going to go ahead and clean it with the alcohol. The alcohol, pretty much what it does, um, it dries it out. You see what I'm saying? It's just nothing but bare plastic. And it is, uh, you know, very good to you know put the tape on it so the tape sticks to it but I've done it just doing the alcohol and sometimes the tape sticks to it and sometimes it doesn't although today it is a very nice hot day the hotter the day the better to do fiberglass anything that has to do with fiberglass laying down tape prepping um, fiberglass resin itself man you know hot days are the best days you are gonna be sweating man but that's what you want you know what I'm saying you want that nice hot weather but it can work against you you know what I'm saying if you don't work fast but we'll get into a lot of that stuff as we progress in this build okay okay so then after we get done spraying the alcohol we'll let it sit for at least like five ten minutes let it really dry up then we're gonna come back with the surface prep and the wipe you know what I'm saying what the purpose of that is it somewhat gives it a invisible like layer prep 
so the tape can really bond to it. You see what I'm saying? Um, that prep is used as well for when we dye like plastic panels and what it does, like I just says, it lays an imaginary like primer. So when you put, you know, the adhesive promoter, it that sticks to that. And then, you know, obviously the promoter, uh, the paint sticks to the promoter when you're dyeing panels. So almost the same theory with that. We put the surface prep to give us a imaginary primer, you know, bond. So then once we put our tape on there, to get the shape of the mold that we want it really you know bonds both of those things together man you see what I'm saying like you have always have to look at it as like adhesive you know um, components that are from the uh, tape to the prep and it reacts once they put together man you know what I'm saying really look you know if you really look at it in those type of terms I always look at it like scientific terms doing all this car audio stuff man so it's a little complicated but it's really much more easier than what I'm trying to make it seem like but I'm just trying to be smart you know what I'm saying because in reality that's what it really does um, they're all chemicals you know they all have adhesives on it and they all need one thing to work better with another you see what I'm saying so what we're gonna actually do right now we're gonna go ahead and give these a wash and then we're gonna go ahead and put them the the alcohol wipe them down then we're gonna put the surface prep I actually wish I would have got a cameraman for this particular video I'm gonna keep trying to look for it because I would probably give better descriptions as I go you see what I'm saying but hopefully one of my homeboys you know is not working today tomorrow or the next day or I may even tell them to quit their job and be my cameraman so we'll see what happens throughout this video and the series of videos man so subscribe to the channel drop some comments let me know if you guys got any questions so far of what we got going on enter the giveaway and now let's get started another quick tip when you're doing actual fiberglass stuff don't feel rushed because you can't rush fiberglass work because then trying to do something too fast you're gonna forget a step you're not gonna do something that right and then you know it is fixable because it is fiberglass and you know a little bit of stuff here and there but you don't want to do things twice you know always try to do you know everything once you see what I'm saying so with that being said man let's get on it okay I don't know if you guys can notice it but it is a little bit cleaner I can tell right off the bat you see what I'm saying it is like really clean right now um, and that's that panel and then I got the other panel drying I do put them out in the Sun between door panels when I'm working on them so they can really dry with that heat man you ain't nothing like that 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 sunlight you know to get them right so I have put the alcohol and gave them the bath with the soap the Dawn soap so now the next step is to use the high-tech white surface prep man you can find that at your local paint body shops that where they sell the supplies and stuff like that I think it's like $39.99 or like 40 bucks or something like that but very useful for a lot of things a lot of things you know so I'm gonna go ahead and give that one the white that's gonna be the final prep stage same thing with that one then after that we're gonna start applying this tape man so I hope you guys so so far what we've done is wash them with the Dawn soap alcohol them down let them sit for a little bit and now we are gonna do the the prep and that's what we got done so far so let's not skip any steps let's get into doing this the surface prep wipe and then after that we'll continue the next step man so drop some comments so far if you guys got any questions if you feel like I went too fast I need to explain some more man let me know in these comments man so let's get to it subscribe to the channel man I'm telling you these next videos man they're gonna be off the chain you see I went ahead and finished them real quick they're done okay so basically you can see that I went ahead and taped up the whole door it is completely taped along with a plastic covering to cover the top part of the door that we're not going to be doing fiberglass on we're actually only going towards like this lip right here like right here right underneath it going around and following it around there and everything and so obviously since the uh, we're not doing the top part we got to block it off so it doesn't get no resin on there and as you can see okay so our line goes right here this is where the panel is going to go up to but I am going to put matte over that but I need that structure that line because it's going to get imprinted on that fiberglass mat when I do it so that is the line where um, the dash goes so since I don't have the trick there I know to stay right there underneath that line 
so I know it'll clear with my dash, so it should be pretty good. And obviously right there, I'm gonna follow this line. But we're gonna overlay the, um, the mat so it covers it pretty good. Same thing like right there. So it's prepped, it's got the tape on it, it's ready to go. So some people usually put wax underneath it to um, be able to take it off, but that uh, tape has like a clear wax coating on it, so it'll be pretty good. So the door is covered up over there too. And so now the next step is I am going to get the Bondo brand fiberglass mat and I'm going to cut it into like long strips and get that ready get my MEK my resin I got my resin cups right here ready everything ready to rock and roll because the next step we are going to be getting the resin ready with the resin we're going to go ahead and brush it on the side here get it very nice and wet we're going to do one panel at a time get it nice and wet and then we're going to be laying pieces of the uh, fiberglass mat on there and the key is to get it on there as smooth as possible so it's less work that you have to do but we're not necessarily going to sand this down we're basically after it gets done the fiberglass you know all over it and then let it sit let it dry up and then we're going to come back lift it up and we're going to like give the panel a wash with acetone because if you ever done fiberglass and you start working off of it it gets sticky but washing it with acetone you know both sides and this and that letting it sit for a little bit it's going to take that stickiness off so then you're working with a panel that is just like hard and like probably pokey versus a sticky thing and getting like resin and like residue all over your fingers so a little bit easier so we'll cut the panel out we'll get it shaped and then we'll just run like a quick 40 you know grit all over it to get in a really good rough area so when we mount our rings of um uh speaker rings on there with the um, the hot glue sticks it's uh ready you know what i'm saying it sticks to it you see what i'm saying you win the mat so i'm gonna cut some strips up real quick and before i start fiberglassing i'm gonna show you the strips uh the resin preparing it and then you know we're gonna go ahead and do it with this so subscribe to the channel man we got a lot going on today man a lot going on today in perfect weather because it's so hot so let's That's get so good doing the door panels so we have fiberglass mat we got it cut in different strips we got bigger strips and i got this one that i actually numbered out um, that one is just like one big piece and then I got like a few pieces I got to put on it. But this one I actually numbered it out to the pieces that I cut that it fits in specific spots. And then the rest I just got to do uh, small um, pieces that I put along with, you know, just to reinforce it up. Um, that one is for that one over there. And obviously that one's for, the, for that one. So now that I got my pieces cut up in different uh, sizes, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get everything moved to the backyard where the sun is like the heat point. See what I'm saying? Look, let me show you real quick. Like it's hot out here in the front, but in the back, man, that thing is shining. Look back there, right in the center. We're gonna fiberglass out there, and I will show you what we got rocking with that. So, man, subscribe to the channel, man. These are actually pretty cool. So, I'm gonna cut out the fiberglass mat with the scissors. You know, little strips again. That one I actually cut pieces to fit in certain spots, and that is ready to rock and roll it right there. So now. We're just gonna go get this fiberglass ready. Look at all this wood right here. And now we have our fiberglass station. Okay, so we have the door set up in a nice spot where the sign is just the sun is just shining on these things. Man, look at that. So perfect. Very, very perfect. Okay. Door panels ready to get glassed. We got fiberglass mat, different uh, sizes cut out. We got numbered uh and you know full door cut out fiberglass mat ready to get done so we have our stir sticks our paint brushes the MEK P measuring uh, bottle cups and fiberglass resin okay real quick everybody does their mix different so for today's mix if you want to do fiberglass and you want to work with it that it still gives you plenty of time to uh, work with it but still give you the hardest finish you know um, activating for it that things to be solid so you want to go ahead and fill maybe three quarters of this cup up with resin just for the fact that you don't want to do a full cup and it get hard on you by the time you're done and then so you have like a baby quart gone you know wasted you feel me when you could have put it on side there 
So the perfect mix, I feel, is three quarter of the cup full. Then if you can see this thing right here, see, you can see it, the numbers. So it goes five, 10, and then 15. So we're gonna go do the thing probably like a hair under 15. That should be plenty enough MEKP um, inside the resin for it to react pretty good and let's let me work with it and then still get nice and hard at the same time so basically you know what you're going to want to do is dump the the resin inside the cup squeeze it look we'll actually just do it right now let's see squeeze it till it gets to three look you see how it's filling up so it is right there oh it's a little bit over so what we'll do is we'll just dump a little bit in there to where it's enough where there's a quarter remaining or a little piece remaining and we'll save it for the next one that we do so you throw that inside the cup after you put your fiberglass resin get your stir sticks man these are um like real good disposal ones man just mix it and no matter if you waste man i got like a hundred of them so man we're good but mix the greatness out of it man you know mix it you know for a good little minute till your wrist starts hurting oh look at that i was, just, uh, I was uh, mixing too hard you know you, you whip it and then you know so you feel like it's nice and good then you go ahead and you apply it on side here throughout it get it nice and wet then you start laying the mat on the you know nice even strokes make sure it's nice and wet once i get done i'll show you what it's supposed to look like finished um the sad thing about this is i can't even record and show you guys what i'm doing because i only got one set of gloves and then there is no taking off i'm, I'm just gonna run with it get it done because i don't want to mess up my camera you feel me so it is what it is man i wish i could show you guys i'm kind of upset for that i was trying to get a cameraman but that fell off but we're gonna still get this done because we need to get it done so let's get on it and then i'll show you once it looks like once we get done with it. so subscribe to the channel let me know if you like this so far man we're gonna get it so this is the end result of fiberglassing, uh, throwing the, the resin and matting. As you can see, like this one still has like that light tone, which as it hardens, it's going to get darker like this one. You can see how this one's more darker. Um, it's going to get really hard. So you see like it goes like this, like this, like that, and then there's a line that goes right through it. There are certain areas where I will put more mat on it because we do have to cut out uh, a majority of this is going to get cut out for the speaker replacement and the uh, plexiglass that we're going to be doing so that doesn't really matter it's just like the main border and maybe like something going across like a support beam so it'll hold the the, the integrity of the door together same thing with this one you know it has some parts where it is um, a lot more uh, mat on it than usual but man it's going to be good there's good enough layers in it i literally just got done and so i think i wasted three quarters of a gallon on just these door panels just resonating but that was me with me doing heavy cups i think i did two cups per door panel that would be awesome i think i spent almost pretty much like an hour resonating the door and then laying the mat you know so 30 minutes each one and each one and working against the wind it is windy but the sun is out and that door is like pretty much almost like hard you see what I'm saying? It already reacted good because the sun's out, but maybe just the top layer is, um, you know, drying, you know, so it needs to get, you know, cured through the whole way. And it's like 318 right now, so I figure by like 5 o'clock, man, that thing should be nice and hard. The sun's out perfect for it, so by 5 o'clock, that so thing that should was, be hard. So that was pretty much it for today. Today was just a video on prepping and, you know, taping, getting the door ready and laying the, the mat on it. That's pretty much like the first step of doing these fiberglass doors on tomorrow's video which subscribe and stay tuned to it, turn that notification bell on so you can watch tomorrow's video so tomorrow's video will consist of us taking the door off washing it um you know by washing man you you gotta watch tomorrow's video to know what i mean by washing it give it his little bath then you know trace out exactly where we're gonna cut it cut it out grind it somewhat smooth take some of the shine off so then you know the the stands that we're going to make for the speaker rings hold on pretty good um, nice and durable and then after that um, we sand her down a little bit we're going to make all the stands for all the uh, the speakers and the tweeters and everything we'll make all the rings that we need to make and then we're going to make one door and you know pretty much we'll try to make both of the doors as we go 
and then we're gonna go ahead and fleece it and then that'll be it for that video then the video after that one would be us resining that door panel taking it off and then sanding it and then you know the third the fourth video will be of it getting installed man so subscribe to the channel man we are doing fiberglass doors we're gonna try to do these things back to back man and we got this stuff under don't forget to go ahead and get entered to the giveaway man you know what I'm saying you got till may 2nd the giveaway in so you got plenty of time to go ahead and get some entries in um we will be announcing the winners cinco de mayo um we got the lightning that we're gonna start working on it probably tomorrow morning as well while these are you know i, I got some stuff going on uh, man we just got so much stuff we got to do and man all the time in the world you know what i'm saying we got all the time in the world you know you can't rush good art so man that's what we're trying to give these people man so subscribe to the channel enter the giveaway and you know stay tuned peace